guys know how much I love a good burger, which is why I've been hitting the test kitchens, coming up with the ultimate burger recipe. And by test kitchens, I pretty much mean this kitchen, usually on a Monday or Tuesday night, but I am ready to unveil the veal French onion slider with cognac braised onion. All of the components on the French onion soup that I know and love in one burger. This burger all starts with lean and beautiful Cedar Springs veal, homegrown in the good old US of A. And the flavor is downright outrageous. When making burgers, you wanna make sure each patty is uniform in size. You can reach in the refrigerator and pull out the peanut butter jar lid and make sure my sliders are all the same size. And then all I do is pick up my saran wrap here, flip it over, you have a perfectly formed burger. You can see that beautiful color comes from a milk-fed diet. And the nice thing about ground veal is that it's an easy substitution for any other ground beef. So imagine meatballs or meatloaf with this ground veal off the charts. Now, before we go on, I'm gonna stash these guys in the refrigerator because burgers have to be stone cold out of the fridge when you cook them. Otherwise, they're gonna fall apart or kind of break when we cook it, and that would just be a crying shame. Now, one of the best parts about French onion soup is that top layer of cheese that's all hot and bubbly. And you know when it comes to your table, you should wait about five minutes, but you can't stop and you burn your mouth, but somehow it works and it's worth it. We're gonna replicate that by making a Gruyere crisp. We're kind of just a cheese crisp to go on top of the burger. So to make these crisp, you wanna take a sheet tray and line it with some parchment paper. Take a tablespoon measure here and kind of fill it up until it's slightly overflowing and then put a mound of it right down. You're gonna wanna make extra because you're gonna snack on at least one. Hit them with a crack of fresh pepper. Now preheat your oven 400 degrees. Put these in there for roughly 12 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Check out how beautiful they are. And what did I say about making extra? So good. I have my cast iron pan preheating over medium heat here. I love cast iron because it's an equal distribution of heat. Actually use a little more salt than you think you need because you can't season the inside of the veal. So I'd say about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt on each side, that'll help make an amazing salt and pepper crust and get so crispy and crunchy. And then before I put the second one in, I'm just gonna use my finger here and create kind of like a dimple in the middle. If I don't create this dimple or this well, the burger's gonna blow up like a football and it's gonna look horrible on our bun. Now, hit it with some salt and pepper on the other side, the same amount. Now set a timer for about five minutes and let them go. Oh, ho, ho. look at that beautiful char crust. That is gonna be so much flavor and so much texture. Let's give it one more minute, then we'll toss on the cheese. I'm gonna put a nice mouthful on one. Nice mouthful on the second. I got two ice cubes here. I'm gonna toss them in the pan and just throw on the lid. The ice is gonna help create moisture so the cheese melts and it's gonna add a little extra moisture to the veal patty. Three minutes later, it's time to unveil these beauties. Oh, enrobed in melted Gruyere cheese. I like to let my burgers rest a few minutes before I put them onto the bun. Otherwise the juices might make the bun soggy and no, we ain't down with that. So a few minutes right there. All right, it's time to build this French masterpiece, which I think deserves a spot in the Louvre. Well, if you think so also, maybe we can get it in there. All right, I have my bottom toasted brioche bun. I'm gonna spread on there a mixture of 50-50 Dijon mustard and mayonnaise. This is great because that Dijon mustard kinda cuts through the richness of the onions and the burger. And then for a little bit of crunch and a little bit of color, I have some red leaf lettuce here. Of course, next, the piece de resistance, our veal slider. All right, next up, it wouldn't be a veal French onion slider without the braised onions in cognac. And they take about an hour to make, and I actually made them last night, which is totally fine. It's really easy, and here's how you do it. Melt two tablespoons of butter over medium heat and add two pounds of sliced onions and one bay leaf. Cook for 45 minutes until soft and jammy, then add a quarter cup of cognac and one tablespoon of fresh thyme and cook until almost all the liquid reduces. Next, add one cup of low sodium veal or beef stock and cook until almost all the liquid is reduced. Season with one teaspoon of kosher salt and a few cracks of fresh pepper. So let's take some of that sweet, jammy, cognac braised onions, all of the components on the French onion soup that I know and love in one burger. Now let's take that cheese crisp, put that right on top. That's a beautiful color and it's gonna add a little extra crunch. And then the top of our toasted brioche bun, 
And the great thing about veal is that it's very lean. In fact, on average, it's lower in fat content than most other meats. If you want more information where to buy Cedar Springs veal, you can go to mountainstatesrosen.com. The link is below in the description box. If you want the recipe, it's also down there too. Check it out, like it, pin it, share it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon with another off the charts recipe. See ya!